to you tonight. We thank you and praise you. Pastor Bob? Oh, yeah, let's, let's say hello to one another. <laughs> <laughs> you can stand and do it. <laughs> <laughs> We're all kind of weird tonight. <laughs> We're out of our normal. I can get you all to grab a seat. I know I did. The, the good thing is, is there's going to be time for more fellowship following the service. So, oh man, dude. Swing low, sweet chariot. Okay, there we go. That was my talent, no talent right there. So I got in first. All right. Let's... Uh, 
Let's go before the Lord one more time here. Father, we thank you and we praise you for you are worthy of our praise. We call you Father for you are and we hallow your name, Lord, for there is no God like you. And Lord, we lift up one another this night that you would indeed minister to our hearts one to another and Lord in so doing that we would minister to your heart as well Lord we love you and we praise you we commit this time to you and and we look forward to this night Lord a time of of worship and praise to you and celebration and fellowship with one another Lord uh, being with family truly that is one aspect of of thanksgiving that Lord is precious that element of being with family so Lord we pray your blessing upon these things now and we ask it in Jesus name amen thanksgiving of course uh, none of us are new to it we all have experienced it in our lifetime many times but uh, we were blessed to live in a nation that had set aside a particular day each year for giving thanks now, of course, the unfortunate part of that is it started out, it was to give thanks to God. Uh, it, that's where our first Thanksgiving with the pilgrims started out, and every successive Thanksgiving up until, you know, Lincoln, when he declared that the third uh, Thursday of every November would be, no, wait, I'm sorry, he, he declared a national day for Thanksgiving, but then it was in 40-something uh, that it was declared that it would be the third Thursday of every uh, November fourth Thursday of every November thank you thank you thank you Lisa yes I'm thankful that Lisa is here otherwise uh, you guys would have had to change your calendars it'd be the third Thursday of every November um, but we are blessed that there's still an inkling of that and especially for those of us who do know the Lord we we as God's people should focus on that aspect of, of Thanksgiving because that's really what it's all about. I do find it interesting, you know, I mean, you go through Old Testament, New Testament, and there are just countless, countless scriptures that tell us that we are to give thanks to God. And you remember what I've always said, God never tells us anything in his word that we don't need to know. That's why he tells husbands to love their wives. Christ loved the church because husbands need to know that. He tells wives, respect your husband and submit to them because that's what they need to do. And, and so it must be that we need to be reminded to give thanks to God. And when you think about it, there's some pretty, there's some pretty strong scriptures that, that talk about that. In Leviticus, it says, the Lord says that when you bring your thanksgiving offering to him, that it should be of your own free will. In other words, it shouldn't be, a thanksgiving offering should not be something that is done out of constraint. It shouldn't be that somebody's twisting your arm to give thanks to God. So how do we do that? I mean, that, that really is, I think, a very important question. Because even though there are many times, there's psalms, there's um, the law in the, old, in the Pentateuch, telling us to give thanks to God, but God doesn't want it to be something that is done merely because we have to, but something that we want to. So there has to be an appreciation in our heart for God. You give thanks for something if you really do appreciate it, if you enjoy it. And uh, there's an, uh, an old song, it says that, you know, you count your many blessings, name them one by one, count your many blessings, see what great things he has done, he hath done. I mean, it's an old, old song. And I think that's one of the keys, it is to, to have our focus in the right place. It's very common today, a um, lot of people, you know, have picked up on this little thing where, how are you doing? Oh, better than I deserve. And, you know, that, I always tell people, that's a given. You're still breathing. That's better than you deserve. Okay? So that's not really a good response. Yes, but it is something that we should be thankful to God for. And that is because I, I, I'm not getting what I deserve. You're not getting what you deserve. 
If you're sitting here and you know Jesus Christ, you have escaped the fires of hell. You have escaped an eternity separated from God. And so if for that alone should be enough where we would have a grateful heart each and every day. For every day that we live, there is reason to give thanks. The scriptures tell us that we are to give thanks in all things. Okay, all things, guess what, that word, it's the same word I found in other portions of the New Testament when you translate it from the Greek, it still means all. It means to give thanks and, and to appreciate the fact that what you do have, and also sometimes it's an appreciation of what I don't have. You know, things could always be worse, as they say, and especially, you know, for us here in this country, when you think about people that live in other parts of the world that are suffering because of their faith, that, you know, struggle day to day just for eating one meal a day. You know, we, we have it so good and so blessed that no matter what we're going through in our life, there is always good reason to give thanks to God for what he is doing and sometimes what he's not doing. I'm grateful for this church. I'm grateful for the, the body of believers that we have here. I had occasion today to brag on you once again, you know, to tell this family that was in, in, interested in our church. I said, well, th there's one thing that you'll find out very quickly when you come here, that this is a body that's very loving, that they reach out to people. And if a stranger walks in this door, no matter how strange they are, there's going to be many people that are going to grab them and say, hey, who are you? Where are you from? Glad you're here. What's your name? Well, usually what's your name first, but you know, you get my point. And I'm thankful for that. I'm very grateful for what God is doing here. I'm very grateful for this carpet right here. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, been a, it's been a lot of work. And I, I'm glad I didn't lay it. That, and it's still been a lot of work for me. And I'm very grateful that it's in and that God has blessed us. I'm grateful for my family. I'm thankful to God for my family, both my church family and my biological family. I thank the Lord that all of my brothers, I only have two, but nonetheless, they're both walking with the Lord and serving him. I'm thankful to the Lord for that because there were a number of years where that was not the case. I'm thankful that my daughter's walking with the Lord for there were a number of years that that wasn't the case. There's so many things to me, for me to be thankful. And I'm trying to learn in my own heart not to focus in on the things that are not the way that I want them to be. That things are not doing well in this area or that. When I say that, it's not that I try to ignore them, but just not to let them embitter me. Not to let them take away and rob me from the scripture where it says, in all things give thanks. Because when I get embittered towards it, I'm no longer thankful. And in, in saying I'm thankful to the Lord for all that's going on in my life, what I'm saying is, Lord, I trust you. As a matter of fact, I've got some folks that I'm, I'm spending some time with right now and counseling with them and stuff. And there's some difficult things that are going on in their life right now. And I had to share with them. You know, right now it, it doesn't look good, but I trust this, that the Lord says that he works all things together for good to those that love him and those that are called according to his purposes. And right now, that's, that's the only thing that they have to hold on to, is the promise that one day it will be for good in their lives. But even in that, we can give thanks. We give thanks to the Lord, our God and our King, our Lord and our Savior, our provider, our protector, our safekeeper, you know, the one who gives us health, the, the one who gives us life, the one who gives us everything that we have need of in our life. Amen? Amen. All right. Well, praise the Lord. Tonight we're going to take some time and uh, we're going to have our talent, no talent uh, show tonight.
uh, I didn't want to say contest because there's no there's no winners no losers okay we're all we're, we're gonna be just like the world there's everybody's a winner here tonight okay that that's my impression of Joel Osteen but uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, we're gonna. I, we just want to have some fun and enjoy the gifts that God has given to us, and uh, and and show our our love and our appreciation to Him by offering up these gifts and talents, the things that we do. Uh, they are an offering, a sacrifice to the Lord. And so, our first one tonight is going to be our own. Lisa Levin. Yay! Go on around, Lisa, and come on up the ramp. Okay. Okay, we'll be patient. Oh, well, 
She's already memorized the song. We're going to be singing a song for you tonight called Away in a Major. Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus lay safe in the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes. But little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love thee, Lord 
Jesus looked down from the sky and stayed by my cradle till morning is high. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever. I love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care and take us to heaven to live with thee there. Mr. Eric, come on up and uh, give us some zingers, boy. Wait. I'm just nervous. <laughs> okay. I know. What? Snare drum. I don't know what that is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> I like the sound of it. <laughs> okay, my first joke is what is the why did the banana why does the banana do gymnastics? Cuz it likes to do the splits. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what furry creature can open a lock? <clears throat> A monkey. Okay. <clears throat> Katie gave me this one. What did the buffalo say to his son? Bison. Okay. <clears throat> um. What does a puppy eat and drink at a baseball game? Popcorn and soda pop. <laughs> okay. Okay. How much does it cost a pirate to get his ears pierced? A buccaneer. <laughs> How many jokes was that? That was four or five? Okay. Um, there was another one. What was it? I can't remember what was the other one. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Guess that's it. John Heinrich has a song to share. back here cause so I can see the words. I, I have the words right here. So. <laughs> you know, um, this is the time of the year to be thankful, and I've been so thankful for everything. But more than that, I've been so thankful for the salvation that, that God has given to us through his, the death of his son. But before we get to the death and resurrection, we have the birth. And so there's a story, it's a natural progression. Without the birth, there, wasn't, there wouldn't be a salvation. And so I'm so thankful for the birth of Christ and for his salvation. God has left, been impressing me with this really old song that I sang when I was a little kid. And um, it has this whole concept of birth to death to salvation has come true and and in this song there is reason there's a reason for um, our salvation and and I just really 
it's been impressive for me to, to, to sing this song, so I'm going to sing it. <laughs> okay. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins, and sinners plunge beneath that blood, lose all their guilty stains, lose all guilty stains lose all their guilty stains and sinners plunge beneath that blood lose all their guilty stains the Rejoice to see that fountain on his day. And there have I, as vile as he, washed all my sins away. Washed all my sins away. I saw the stream, your flowing moon supply. Redeeming love has been my theme, and shall be till I die, and shall be till I die. This time, really, Sarah, not, not Safira, Sarah. I'll get it right this time. Leads again 
once the fall poured into bed, oh, see his manners go. All Marcusian soldiers marching as to war with the cross of Jesus going on before. All right, Grandma, it's your turn. I don't have any talent, but my sister-in-law does, thank God. <laughs> I called her a couple of weeks ago and I said, they're gonna have the no talent show, so I need some of your poems. <laughs> so she got them right in the mail to me. Okay, this is Thanksgiving prayer. Thank you, Father, for the blessings we see, for the majesty, mountains, to the deeps of the sea. You are our creator, so great and wise. Our bodies are wonders like the stars in the skies. Thank you for our family we hold so dear, those far away and others who are near. Thank you for friends who mean so much. They bring joy to our hearts, so we stay in touch. Thank you for the country from coast to coast. It is far from perfect, but better than most. When love and respect replaces hatred and pride, we will help each other and stand side by side. We're taught as children to be polite, saying please and thank you, and still always right. So we thank you, Father, for all you have given our prayers on earth touch our hearts in heaven amen that, my sister-in-law's name is diane and she's a wonderful wonderful christian girl she sent me three poems but i'm only going to read two <laughs> the voice of nature the world is full of labels large and small. They may read made in China, India, USA, or Nepal. I do check labels to see where things are made. A label also tells me if a color will fade. As I look outside at Jehovah's natural creation, I realize God has detail in his majestic revelation from tiny insects and seeds to grow giant sequoias, God speaks through nature, even in buzzing bees. Mankind cannot create what God has given. We may try, but we fall short of heaven. I love the clouds, flowers, trees, and birds. Creation declares God's glory according to his word. Even the poorest people on the face of the earth can see God's handiwork and know they have worth. God isn't found in fancy buildings or pews. We are made in his image. He is in me and you. Creation also has a label, a handcrafted by God's seal. It has a voice that shouts, God is real. I do love nature, but I love God more. I can't wait to see what heaven has in store. She does good, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm going to need help getting down from here. I shouldn't have brought my cane. <laughs> I need my cane, too.
like Eric, I'm a little nervous too. This is called Kissing God. There was a gathering in the school's open air tent. It was a time of worship and praise. We were just outside the tent listening. What do you think of, asked the teacher, when you hear the word worship? Singing, hymns, prayers, words of praise. That's the outward form of worship, he said. That's how worship manifests. But what's the heart of worship? I don't know. I'll give you a definition, a secret. It's found in the New Testament covenant scriptures. It only appears in the Greek. It's the word proskunio. And do you know what it means? I had no answer. It means to kiss. True worship, said the teacher, is to kiss. And what does this reveal? What is a kiss? A kiss is the most intimate of acts. Therefore, worship is to be the most intimate thing you can experience. To worship God is to kiss God in the spiritual realm. Yes, to kiss from your heart, from your innermost being. And when you kiss, you don't do it because you have to. You do it freely from your heart because you want to. So true worship is never done by compulsion, but freely from the overflow of your heart. And why does one kiss, asked the teacher? Because of joy. Yes, he said, a kiss is an expression of joy, and kissing brings you joy. So true worship is an expression of joy. You worship out of joy, your joy becomes worship, and your worship becomes joy. Teacher, I said, we didn't say the most obvious, which is, one kisses because of love. I said, a kiss is an expression of love. It is. So then what is true worship? Worship is an expression of love. Yes, said the teacher. It's as simple as that. It's the most intimate act of love and joy. Worship is as simple as kissing God. So tonight, draw near to God in worship, in love and joy, in the deepest of intimacy. Learn the secret of kissing God. Psalms 42, 7 and 8, Song of Solomon's 1 and 2, John 4.24. God, thank you. We love you. Amen. Thank you, Tina. That was great. Uh, You know what? It's only 8 o'clock. Why don't we take just a few minutes, and uh, if you have something that you just want to thank the Lord, that's it's in your heart, you just want to declare out loud that you want to thank him for something Uh, why don't we just take a few minutes and go around the room if you have something just shout it out So we're on live stream. That's why he's trying to do that, to, so that you, he can. Hear. So shout it out. How's that? Yeah. You're asking the Lord. You're thankful that the Lord's going to keep you safe when you go up to Reading. Amen. Wonderful. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yes.
Chimito. You're thankful for Clint. Yeah. Yes. What do we What do we have here? We're We're under four weeks now, right? About four weeks, yeah, and she'll she's due to deliver. So, uh, little Liam, Jonathan, uh, will be coming into the world. So, praise the Lord. Yes, we're giving thanks, and uh, you know what? Just uh, let, let we we really need to pray for her. Her first delivery wasn't an easy one, and so. Uh, we want to pray that the Lord just has his hand upon her and that everything just goes very smoothly and, and good. So uh, I tell you guys that please be lifting her up before the throne of grace. As we give thanks, can't wait to see him. This yeah, is going to be yeah. great, man. We love that, uh, that, that body growth. That's the best body growth we can have. It's natural and it's good. So. Yeah. So any of you young ladies that care to add, add to the body of Christ, we're more than in support of that, so that you know. Married. Oh, yes, married ones, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we will say that. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, you know, I, I mean, I know who I'm talking to. That's a given. We already know that. We don't have to make mention. What are what's you thankful for, Lisa? Uh huh. And also, I'm there on my own. The Holy Spirit. That's right. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I think it's been three weeks now. No, maybe maybe a little bit more. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. You're thankful for a while. Amen. So are we all. Yes. to get rid of bad guys. Okay. Amen. Amen. Sarah wants to say, what are you thankful for? My school. Her for school. her school. All right. Yeah, we really like to hear that one, believe me. <laughs> yes. You're thankful to be alive every day. Well, Barb... Amen. And, and we're thankful that you're alive every day, too. They are. We're very thankful. Yes? I'm thankful for my children, my wife, my mom. They're all a lot of help, but I'm also thankful that my wife goes to church because thanks to me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> When you get to be as old as I am, you'll understand that all that thankfulness for that sometimes is <laughs> well, ever before you. Yeah, ever before you. There you go. Yeah, yeah. But yes, I agree. With you. Thank you. Thank the Lord for family and and the meal. Yes, Amen. Grandpa. I thank my for my wife. In this church uh, has blessed me so much that. Uh,
<laughs> Just like his daddy. Right, do you, do you are want you to sing? Are you going to sing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you want to sing? What do you want to sing? <laughs> All right, the Eli. Funny. Do you want to sing? Do you want to sing Father I Adore You? <laughs> yeah? No, 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 no. He wanted to sing. He said he wanted. You want to sing or no? Let's not waste people's time. You want to sing? Okay, let's sing Father I Do You, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Father I You. Lay my life before You. Singing this one? Oh, you lie. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. We're on Jesus now. Okay. Ready? Jesus, Jesus I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you. Spirit, I adore you. Lay my That ham bone don't fall far from the hawk, I got to tell you that for sure. <laughs> what a blessing. What a blessing. Praise the Lord. Yes, Eric? I'm thankful. I'm thankful for this night. That's right. Yeah, amen. Thankful for this night. All right. You're thankful for your brothers. Amen. just what three weeks ago and he was back in the hospital for the surgery so yeah we thank the lord that he's grandpa some uh, there's some fellowship items out there right sometimes known as finger foods oh, oh wait a minute yeah we gotta thank you I, I'm thankful that somebody else has a better memory than me all right so Pastor Paul come on up and let's do it you you can pray for the finger food or the uh, fellowship items and uh thankful for so many things and I agree I say amen to every every pronouncement and this this song um, is an old old spiritual song um, that I thought we could just do as a sing-along since I laid my burdens down
Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. And I feel better, so much better. Since I lay my burdens down, I feel better, so much better. Since I lay my burdens down, the cross before me, the world behind me. Since I lay my burdens cross before me, the world behind me, since I lay my burden down. I'm going to heaven, I'm going to heaven to be with Jesus, since I lay my burden down. I'm going to heaven to be with Jesus. Since I lay my burdens down, glory, 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 hallelujah. Since I lay my burdens down, glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I lay my burdens down, since I lay. Since I lay my burdens down. And thank you, Jesus, for taking those burdens off of us, Lord. And Lord, we ask your blessing upon the finger foods, the fellowship, Lord, and we just thank you. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, everyone said, Amen. Amen.